Hey, you. Who, me? Yes, you. Is your favorite driver participating in this year's Rolex 24 at Daytona? Well, yeah, the greatest driver who's ever lived, Jeff Gordon, is coming out of retirement to run this year race. Do you know anything about sports car racing? Is that that thing them kids on Instagram's always arguing about? Didn't Tony Stewart win this race once? And I think Dale Jr. burned in a Corvette once. These cars are so much less safe than NASCARs. I'm so glad NASCAR invented safety features like the Heinz device and the safer barrier. Oh my god, almost all of that was wrong. Well look kid, you're in luck. I hear there's this guy named David Land on YouTube and he's doing a preview of the Rolex 24. He's gonna go over all the drivers and cars in the two pro classes, Prototype and GT Le Mans, and then he's going to cover some of the bandwagon drivers in some of the amateur divisions in this year's race. It should help you not look like an idiot on social media. Wait, is this race gonna be run under NASCAR's new format? Dale Jr. told me the racing's never gonna be better. Oh my god, can we please just cover one alternative fact at a time, please? Now pipe down and enjoy a bandwagoner's guide to the 2017 Rolex 24. Appropriately, this year's preview starts with last year's defending champions, Tequila Patron ESM. Drivers Scott Sharp, Ryan Dial, and Pippo Durrani look to defend their 2016 victory, this time switching from Honda Power to Nissan Power for this year's race. Porsche factory driver Brendan Hartley is also listed as an emergency fourth driver on this entry, but is expected to spend the majority of his driving time helping out the number 22 Tequila Patron Nissan. The number five Action Express Racing Cadillac is one of four teams to switch from the ancient Daytona prototype regulations to a more conventional LMP2 chassis for this year. Longtime drivers for the team, Jao Barbosa and Christian Fittipaldi, are joined by Audi driver Felipe Albuquerque. This team is no stranger to victory lane at Daytona. They won the Rolex 24 in 2014. The bandwagon car to end all bandwagon cars is the number 10 Cadillac from Wayne Taylor Racing. NASCAR superstar Jeff Gordon will join Ricky and Jordan Taylor along with Max Angelelli who is in his final sports car race. The Taylor brothers should be expected to take on the lion's share of the driving duties as Jeff Gordon hasn't raced a sports prototype in 10 years. The pre-race favorites have to be the number 13 Rebellion Racing Array. Driven by what for all intents and purposes is an all-star LMP1 driver lineup of Sebastian Buemi, Nick Heidfeld, Neil Johnny, and Stefan Sarazan, Rebellion Racing had the fastest car in Daytona testing earlier this year. The last time they entered an American race, they won at the 2013 Petit Le Mans. For the first time since 2015, ESM Patron has entered a second car on the Daytona High Banks. The 22 entry will be piloted by Johannes Van Overbeck, Bruno Senna, Brendan Hartley, and Patron CEO Ed Brown. The defending IMSA champions are the number 31 Whelan Engineering Action Express Racing Cadillac. Full-time drivers Dane Cameron and Eric Curran will be joined by Seb Morris and LMP1 superstar Mike Conway. PR1 Mathiason Motorsports is moving up from the PC division of IMSA. And the goals are simple, make 24 clean hours of racing. R.C. Anderson and Tom Kimber Smith are the two stars on this team. Mazda returns this year as well with two brand new Riley chassis. Each of their cars driven by drivers trained in the Mazda Road to Indy. The 55 car is piloted by Tristan Nunez, Jonathan Bomarito, and Indy Lights champion from 2015, Spencer Piggott. While car number 70 is driven by Tom Long, Joel Miller, and James Hinchcliffe. Last year Mazda had the pace but not the reliability. They're looking to change that for this year. Without a doubt, this year's dark horse pick for the Rolex 24 has to be the Dragon Speed Oreca. They were fast in Daytona testing, and factory Oreca drivers Nicolas Lapierre and Loic Duval know how to win endurance races. 
Continuing the theme of Oreca chassis cars, the JDC Miller Motorsports team is another refugee of the dying prototype challenge class. And while their driver lineup is weaker than the other two Oreca chassis in the field, their chassis is fast. And if they can keep it on the black stuff, a podium may be in the cards. And the final prototype in the field, the number 90 Visit Florida racing car, is another team switching from the Daytona prototype formula. However, this is the only team making the switch to not use the Cadillac Delara combination. Mark Goosens, Renner van der Zanda, and Rene Rast will roll off in a Gibson-powered Riley. We move on to the GT Le Mans category, and appropriately, we start with potentially the most popular team in all of IMSA, Corvette Racing. The number three team narrowly missed out on last year's GTLM victory in the closest class finish in Rolex 24 history, losing by a bumper to the number four Corvette team. Antonio Garcia, Jan Magnussen, and Mike Rockefeller are looking to do one position better in this year's Rolex. Corvette number four took all the glory last year. Not only did they win the Rolex, but they won the GTLM class for the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. Oliver Gavin, Tommy Milner, and Marcel Fassler will be looking to continue that momentum into 2017. BMW's new art car livery makes a bold statement about the car's performance, but the numbers don't lie, and BMW struggled for pace last year. Bill Auberlin, Alexander Sims, Augusto Farfus, and Bruno Spangler will be looking to bring the BMW back up into the winner's circle. The same can be said about BMW's more traditionally liveried number 24. John Edwards, Martin Tomczyk, Nikki Katzberg, and Kuno Whitmer will be looking to improve on this car's best finish last year of second place at the 12 Hours of Sebring. The lone Ferrari this year in GTLM is entered by Risi Competizione. They are IMSA's most recent GTLM winners, winning at the Petit Le Mans last year. Giancarlo Fisichella, James Collado, and Tony Vlander are looking to give the prancing horse yet another victory at Daytona. In traditional fashion, Ford has entered an armada of cars in the GTLM category. First up is the Ford Chip Ganassi Racing number 66 of Dirk Muller, Joey Hand, and Sebastian Bourdais. This driver combination is the one that won the 2016 24 Hours of Le Mans for Ford in the GT category. Equally potent is car 67's driver lineup, Ryan Briscoe, Richard Westbrook, and Scott Dixon. The second half of Ford's assault comes from their WEC program. Stefan Mucca, Olivier Pla, and Billy Johnson drive the 68 car for Ganassi Team UK. And the final team out of Ford Chip Ganassi UK is Harry Tignell, Andy Prio, and Tony Kanan driving car 69. From a pure numbers standpoint, it's hard to pick against Ford for the GTLM win. And finally, rounding out the GT field is the traditional Porsche team with an untraditional car. For the first time, the Porsche 911 has been built with a mid-engine layout rather than a rear-engine layout. Patrick Pile, Dirk Werner, and Frederick Makowicki will try to get Porsche back to its former glory. And the final car we will take a look at in detail is the 912 Porsche of Kevin Estra, Lawrence Van Thor, and Ricard Leitz, rounding out one of the strongest fields we've seen at the Rolex in several years. But we're not quite done yet. We've got the bandwagon board to take a look at from the two amateur divisions of the Rolex 24. And first, we're going to take a look at the one car of note from the LMPC category, which only consists of four cars. And only one of them got onto our bandwagon board. The Bar 1 Motorsports Oreca FLM 09 being piloted by Buddy Rice, the 2004 Indianapolis 500 champion, and everybody's favorite sports car driver, Gustav. Yakiman. Then we move on to car number 14 for the 3 GT Racing. That's the brand new Lexus RCF GT3. It's piloted by IndyCar driver Sage Karam and hi to my family at home sayer Scott Pruitt. Car number 15, the 3 GT Racing Lexus, teammate to car number 14 if you can believe it, is piloted by Jack Hawksworth, former IndyCar driver, and Austin Sindrick, uh, who drives pretty much everything with wheels. Also, he is the son of Penske Racing President Tim Sindrick. 
Car number 23 in GTD, Alex Job Racing, the Audi R8 LMS GT3, piloted by IndyCar driver and IndyCar commentator Townsend Bell. The second half of our bandwagon board starts with the number 50 Riley Motorsports WeatherTech Racing Mercedes AMG GT3 piloted by Australian V8 supercar star Shane Van Gisbergen. Then we move on to the number 75 Sun Energy One Racing Mercedes AMG GT3 which is a bandwagon car in, of it, in and of itself because of the fact that it's associated with a very popular NASCAR driver but this car is driven by Kenny Haboul, occasional nationwide wide road course ringer Boris Said and former IndyCar star Tristan Vautier. Car number 86, the Michael Shank racing with Curb Agajanian Acura NSX GT3 brand new car and it's being piloted by 2014 Indianapolis 500 champion Ryan Hunter Ray. Same for car number 93, still a Michael Shank car, an Acura piloted by Andy Lally, Catherine Legg of Delta Wing fame and Graham Rahal of Indy car fame and quickly a bandwagon that's very personal to me car number 29 Monteplas by Land Motorsport, the Audi R8 LMS GT3. I have no idea if these people are actually related to me, but I'm going to consider them my cousins from another mother, <laughs> and I am cheering for the Land Motorsport car in GT3, and hopefully they can bring the Land name to victory lane at the Rolex. So just in case you're wondering, these are my picks for the four classes to win at the Rolex 24. Prove to me in the comments that you're not a bandwagoner and let me know which cars you think are going to win their classes at the Rolex. I'm planning on doing this much more during the 2017 racing season, giving previews to some of the major races. I uh, hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe for more racing content throughout the year. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been David Land on YouTube and enjoy the Rolex.